Coach Jones was talking about leadership and asking you to take on a bigger role like that. What has that process been like for you? And, and I know you've had older guys before, like Jermaine, yeah. and in the room like that. Is it, is it different now that you're one of the older guys? Yeah, so it's been really different just because, like, just my personality. Like, I come off as, you know what I'm saying, real fun, childish guy. But when Coach Jones and his coaching staff has came in, he has emphasized to me that, that I'm one of the best players on the team and that people look up to me and they follow what I do. So if I'm out here going through the motions and stuff, then they possibly might go through the motions. So this has been a really good task for me to take on. Um, it's been fun. Um, I have learned from Jermaine and all the other older guys still on the team, Chamari Connor. I, I look at him as a leader all day and I like to take a little stuff from him, just as how he carries himself from drill to drill, how he carries himself around the building, how he studies and all that stuff. Like I wanna show the young guys like just little tips and tricks to help them with them game with their game just a little bit from my game. So that has been a fun, fun experience. Good experience. Talk to Derek during the summer. He said, you know, one of the things that when we watched your film, he thought maybe you got a little complacent as mm -hmm. a sophomore. Did you feel like that? Was last year kind of a missed opportunity for you, do you feel like? I feel like I, I have I did get a little complacent last year. Um just the circumstances, but but now I know I'm fully focused, my mental is straight, I'm strong, and this season is gonna be one of the I want to see a great season for me. I know that. How much has he helped you kind of get focused and, and kind of try to unlock, you know, that full potential? Oh, a lot. He, he's brought me back to how I was in high school from my old coach, DeLon Parrish. Like, he really reminds me of my old high school coach. And just every day, just hearing him talk to me just about growing into a man on and off the field. Like, it's not always just about football. It's about how you handle your business off the field, too, and your habits. And that refers to how you play on the field. From a leadership perspective, how important is it to to be really close with the guys in your group off the field as well? And you, know, you guys all went and got dinner last night. Yeah. What, what was that like? Oh, that was fun. But it's um, it's really good. It's, it is really important for me to be close with the young guys just so they can trust me. So when we hang out or whatever, like I, they need to know that they're able to trust me and trust my words. So when I'm coaching them up or telling them, hey, you did this, that you did this wrong, X, Y, and Z. They don't just, it just doesn't go out one ear and out the other. Like they retain the information. And when that situation or that play comes up again, now, since I've helped them a little bit and they, they put their trust in me, now they either caught a pick, PBU, or that's it, or big hit. So, how, yeah. How would you describe Breon? What do you mean? Just in general. How, how, what, what is Breon like? How would you describe him? Breon. Uh, we are a little ball of energy, so I feel like, like he keeps, he keeps you on your toes because he's always gonna crack jokes and stuff. Like he's gonna crack jokes with the coaches and stuff. But when it's that time to be serious and lock in and do, take all the steps that you need to do to be uh, prepared for the games or anything, he's the guy to look at. Like I said, like I talked to you yesterday. When he was my roommate when I first came here and the stuff he was doing in that hotel, I've never seen in my life. It's just, I'm like, wow, this is really what I have to do now. So it's just like, he's he's helped me just grow in, in different aspects of being a better teammate and being a better friend or a person you need to come talk to if you're going, um, if you're going through something off the field, he's that guy, yeah. So who's funnier? You me. How would you describe what the cheetah mentality is? You can repeat that? How would you describe what the cheetah mentality is? I know Derek is, you know, Track. with them and carried throughout his yeah. career. So, track and attack. He says cheetahs, you know, chase from behind and all that good stuff. So, it's like, uh, what, he, what else he says? Um, cheetah going to hunt for their own meal. So, it's like when, when you're in that position, ball in the air, if you are step behind, catch up, time to make a play. Um, and with the track and attack thing, that just comes with tackling and stuff. You track that near hip and attack. You don't break down. That's what he, he harps on, you know what I'm saying? Don't break down and just trigger. Have you had the uh, the cheetah wing that they, and he talks about at PKs and whatnot? Yeah, yeah, I had some, yeah, I had some, but I'm more of an old bay guy. So I like the old bay wings. I, I got my old bay wings. Maryland, yeah. yeah. But do you own any cheetah themes? Nah. <laughs> Does it convince you to do that? Nah. <laughs>
any standout defensive plays from the scrimmage yesterday, or what, what was kind of what did you take away from that? I guess it was a half scrimmage. Um, well, what I took from it was um, I just have to work on some stuff technique-wise, but it really wasn't a, cu a couple of standout plays for me. Uh, it was a lot of uh, standout plays just as a defense as a whole, like for the team, like the young guys stepping up, making big plays, and doing what the coaches and stuff are harping on. They harp on effort. They harping on making sure react and drive. Like, and we've seen that over the days of camp and as the week is gone. Like, everybody is maturing and growing up into these players that these coaches want us to be. Who did you notice that from the scrimmage? Who did I notice? Yeah, yeah. Nike Johnson. Uh... Cam Johnson. Yeah, that's about it. What have you seen in DJ Harvey? I know he had a he seemed to play a lot at the end of the last season, showed a lot of promise. What have you seen now in the second off season? Um, DJ's going he's going into being a true complete football player, I think. Like when he first came in here he was he was a little emotional. He kinda took stuff to heart a lot, like yeah, but now, just as as time goes on, DJ, he a strong-minded dude. I personally think he has probably has the best ball skills out of the room, but DJ, is a, he's a great football player. He has great feet. Uh, shoot. It's a lot of positive things to say about DJ. He, he, he has a knack for the ball. Like That's why one thing I, I love about that boy. He has a knack for the ball. And then another guy who kind of surged at the end of last season, Jalen Stroman, what have you seen in, in his second offseason as well? Jay Stroh has always been an effort guy. Like from when he's came in here, like he's 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 holding up his last name and he stands on that. Like he, he stands on making his family proud and holding that to his last name. But he's always been a big effort guy. Like he's one of the guys you're gonna point out on film and just say, "Oh my God, look at that guy running to the ball!" Like the effort and his play that he puts out on that field. Like you know that he's giving it all 100 percent after the uh, after every play. You'll know when he goes out there, he's going to give it his all full tilt. Even if he gets something wrong, he's still going to be at the full tilt. So, yeah. Where do you feel like you've changed the most as a person since from now, since when you arrived on campus? As a person? Yeah. Um, Being more vocal and not taking stuff to heart, like from coaches and stuff, like because I used to – just just from how I was, I used to kind of go back and forth with coaches. Like, I used to think, like, something was right, and it, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be right. And now just I've I've matured. I've matured since I've been here enough to say that just the maturity aspect of it really, like, I'm more, way more coachable. A lot of stuff, this game is starting to really, really slow down for me, which is a great thing. Uh, I'm being more vocal with the younger guys, just that leadership, that the leadership quality, like that's really the biggest thing going on for me as a person. So I'm trying to just add little, find just little character traits in myself as when I talk to these young dudes and all that stuff and how I talk to them and all that. But yeah, just the maturity aspect and just leadership.